Hey there. Uh, Lindsay, congratulations on winning Champions League recently. Uh, my first question is going to be a non-soccer question, just about the uh, overturning of Roe v. Wade today and your thoughts on that. Yeah, uh, I don't like speaking about this very often, but um, waking up and hearing that news was not um, great, to <laughs> say the least. Um, I'm still a little bit shocked and, and trying to take it all in, but um, I do feel like this is just a step backwards for our country. Um, but that's all I'm going to say, you know, right now. Thanks, Grant. Let's go to Joe Lowry. Go ahead, Joe. Hey, Lindsay, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. I really appreciate it. Um, I, I will look on the field a little bit. For you coming into this camp and, and for the team right now, are there specific things on the field that you all are looking to really drill, to really improve and, and really see evolve over the course of this tournament, maybe in a tactical sense? Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, always always room to to improve i think coming into this camp and looking forward to qualifying i think it's one nailing all the details and and just preparing for each game that you know uh we're gonna have in qualifying but also just knowing that it's going to be difficult atmosphere and i think that's one of the biggest things that we have to um we have to improve on focus on um and know that it's to come uh and i think anyone you know that's played a uh amongst it you know in a uh, opponents, you know, rival stadium, whatnot. Uh, it's going to be difficult. So, a lot of game management um, meetings and and training focused um, on that. But other than that, just playing like we know how and and nailing down all those details. Thank you, sir. Let's go to the Denver Post. Where are you, Brendan? Hold on. I lost you. There you are. Go ahead, Brendan. Thanks, Aaron. Hey, Lindsay. Thanks for taking the time today. Um, so, you know, the other day at Mallory's media availability, um, she just kind of mentioned, you know, how much she looks up to you and called her one of, of her best friends. And <laughs> let's see. Um, and kind of flipping that around, you know, what have you seen from Mal about, you know, the fight and determination that she's displayed since returning to the national team? Thanks. Um, Mal's so cute. Um, I would also say she's one of my closest friends. And I think one of the coolest things that I've seen from her is, you know, Mal did not make the Olympic roster. And I think that was very hard on her and something that she, you know, maybe hasn't dealt with in her career um, because she's, you know, really taken off since she was 15, 16 years old. And she's been a star, you know, with, with US soccer. Um, but that being said, you know, what had happened in the Olympics and what she did after that is, you know, just what shows what Mal is, you know, what she's like and her personality and her character. And I think you're seeing her play, you know, the best soccer of her life right now. She's scoring goals, she's having fun. And I mean, some of the best goals I've ever seen her score as well. So for me, it's, you know, as a big sister, you know, a good friend of hers, it's it's amazing to see because she did that, you know, by herself. Um, and yeah, I'm very, very proud of her. Thanks, Brendan. Let's go to Jonathan Tannenwald. Go ahead, Jonathan. Uh, thanks, Aaron. Hi, Lindsay. Thanks for taking the time today. Um, you wrote a very eloquent Instagram post when you got home from Leon, I think it was about two weeks ago. It was the one of, with you sitting on the field with the trophies and the confetti and all that. Um, you know, about what it was like when you went back to France, and the <clears> questions <throat> you had in, in your own mind and all that. And I was hoping you wouldn't mind elaborating a little bit on that song. All of us who have watched your entire career and, and know what the arc and all the ups and downs were, you know, for an opportunity for those of us now have a little time to write about it. If you, if you tell us a little more, more about what that moment was. Yeah, I'm going to do it without getting emotional again. Um, Unlikely. <laughs> yeah, I, I think once, you know, the season was over, um, I got to reflect a little bit. And I, I think back a lot to my time at PSG. And I was there for three and a half years. And, you know, that was that was a huge risk for me, you know, going at 18 and being the first female to 
to go from high school to the pro. Um, and I, you know, had so many second guesses at that point, you know, what was going to happen? Was I going to achieve the goals and dreams that I had? And, you know, I ultimately got to the national team and <clears throat> I think that was the route that I wanted to take. Um, but then looking back, it's just like, I felt like I didn't accomplish what I wanted to there. I didn't have the impact that I wanted um, at PSG. And I think for me, going back to Lyon, um, this was like another risk that, you know, I was just like, I, I need it. I need the challenge. I need to, you know, find ways to now show like who Lindsay is after that first experience and, you know, what she can do now. And at age 28, <laughs> it seems so crazy, but 10 years after, you know, when I first went over to PSG. So I think now, you know, having a Champions League trophy and um, French League trophy, something that I never obtained with PSG um, after five months that I was there, uh, it was just a very special, magical feeling. Um, and now no one really can take that away from me. So I think just reflecting on it all, it's just incredible, um, you know, those two experiences, how different they were and, and actually getting trophies now, so. <clears throat> I realize it's a lot to, to talk about, and I don't want to <laughs> yeah. push you too far on it, but I hope you don't mind my asking if it all feels like a long time. You mentioned the 10 years bit. You know, does it feel like a long time, or has it gone back quickly? Um, a little bit of both. <laughs> you know, my, my time with PSG felt like uh, forever. Um, but then, again, you know, these, these past 10 years have gone by so quick, and then getting this, this next opportunity to go to Lyon I was like I, I felt like I was just in France like a few years ago but then you look back and it's like oh I went 10 years ago it's crazy um but yeah it's it's really cool it's really cool to just see you know how my career has evolved and um you know that these risks and sacrifices were worth it thank well, you so much well said Lynn let's go to Jackie <coughs> Gutierrez you're up Jackie thanks so much Aaron um Hi, Lindsay, appreciate you taking the time. I know the last time we talked, I think it was about your United texting situation there, but just with everyone's, you know, kind of like various travel situations and with you um, kind of switching back into the national team swing of things, just wanted to kind of touch base as far as what that's been like and just the adjustment with everything. And obviously there's some new faces on the team as well. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm. This is like the first time that I'm out of season and everyone's coming off of like games two days ago, three days ago, and I'm like a little bit more fresh. Uh, weird feeling, but um, it's been nice for me to just have a few weeks off. But I think getting everyone back in um, and, you know, a few new faces in, in the group as well is, is really exciting. I think, you know, this is the first time that you get to see us in, you know, full action, you know, qualifying tournament with all these new faces. We've obviously been playing friendlies and whatnot. So I think this is going to be really exciting. And I'm, I'm really happy with, you know, how our team looks and, you know, a few players coming back into the group as well that I think have helped a lot. Thanks, Jackie. Yeah, thank Please go to Mike DeCourcy. Go ahead, Mike. <clears throat> Hold on, my bad. Now you're up. Yes. Lindsay, with, with what you were talking about before with the, so many new faces and also some veterans, you're kind of in the middle there. You've, you know, you've won a World Cup, um, but you're not toward the end of your career. So what, what sort of responsibility do you feel to sort of bridge that gap, to sort of help the younger players bring along, bring, you know, come along, and then as well you know, helping the, the, the veterans like Alex to continue to produce? I don't think I need to help Alex at all. I think she, she, she's got that one um, handled herself. Um, I think you know now these days are <clears throat> me finding ways to um, build on my leadership. Uh, that's always something that I've wanted in the national team, and I think these are now my opportunities to do so. Um, so that's been a, a goal for me, you know, coming into this season, this year, um, with all these new faces as much as I can. I want to help the younger players. Um, and I think it actually helps me having Alex and Pino back into the group. You know, Becky, of course, you know, it's, a, it's our captain. I, I learned so much from them. And, you know, it helps me, you know, understand what it takes to, to be a leader on this team and um, be a role model to those young players and, you know, do everything that we possibly can to, to win this tournament as well. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. <clears throat> Let's go to Andrew Jones. Thank you, Aaron. Um, Lindsay, congrats 
saw it, you lay off the fest and get it that Champions League title. Uh, my first question or two is uh, for the vacation that you and TJ were able to take towards Mykonos, you know, what was the most fun for that vacation and being able to refresh and get back into the national team picture on that? And on a, a different subject matter, we, we just had just over now the ruling with Roe v. Wade just now over the course of what Supreme Court ruling. So if you had any thoughts about that and if, if any players on the team discussed that. So those are just my questions there. Um, first, I didn't know Tyler was known as TJ, <laughs> but I, I will take it. Um, that little, what, five week or five day week time um, in Greece was one of the most incredible vacations I've had. And I think the first vacation I've had in a while um, after uh, a tough, tough season. So I think that was great for me. Um, get a little refresh and Again, like I talk, uh, talked about before, actually reflecting on what's just happened um, in my career and in and, and the season with Leon. So um, I was very happy about that. And to your second question, I, I did just speak about it, so I'd rather just uh, move forward. Thanks, Lens. We're going to finish up with Lens. Go to Ben Paris. Go ahead, Ben. Hey, Lindsay. Welcome home. It seems like almost every girl that plays soccer and even boys for that matter know your name and because you've won at almost every level what's it like to be a role model for all soccer players in colorado and uh second question is do you have any plans for the ass game tonight <laughs> um to your first question uh you know it's it's an honor always um you know i've I've always dreamt of like being able to do this for for younger um, the younger generation. I think when I was I was that age, you know, looking up to some of the the players that are even on this team still, um, you know, that's what keeps us going. That keeps us driving. You know, it's like a goal. We can see someone that actually obtained something and they were in our spot. You know, at that age. So I I hope now um, <clears throat> for me I can be a role model for all these younger kids uh, coming through and and showing them hard work and determination, um, et cetera, can, um, can get, up to, get them to this level. Um, and obviously, you know, my youth team is here, so that's also exciting for me. Um, but yeah, sorry, what was your second question? <laughs> Gonna watch the Avs game tonight. Oh, pff, wish I was going. Um, I'll, I'll be watching at the hotel, and hopefully this is, this is the game.